Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahasha, Ba'asham Makakadash, that belong the Son to the Elder Paul is a great millstone. For the teachings of the scriptures, among other things, Shalom to the sincere Akim across the world. Now, this is First Kings talking about King Solomon, and he was the first one to send people to America. Now, it's here, First Kings chapter 10, verse 22. For the king had at, had at sea a navy of Tarshish, which the Tarshish people were Hamites. Tarshish. Oh, let me see. First King. First King chapter 10. Verse 22. Tarshish. Hebrew 8659. Tarshish, the, the, the son of Japhan, yeah, yeah, a Benjamite son of Bilha, Bilhal, but it was a place here. A, 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 wait, uh, sorry, four. A city of the Phoenicians in a distant part of the Mediterranean Sea to which the prophet Jonah was trying to flee. <laughs> right. But there's different places, places that have been named Tarshish, right? But if you type in uh, Tarshish, ancient map, you will see that it is um, around here in Spain and stuff like that. But you have here, right here, Tarshish is here and uh, here. But the Wehama is there too. As you can see, the, the, the Horn of Africa, which is the land of Ham, and the Phoenicians are Hamites. Right? Phoenicians are Hamites. So, it says that uh, with the navy of Hiram. Now, Hiram, I'm not 100% sure, but it doesn't really matter. It's just another place. The king of Tyre. Uh, the king of Tyre who sent word to the Jerusalem. And Tyre were also Hamites. Tyree, because you got to understand ancient map, sorry, because you had the Hamites living in the, in the land, ancient city of Tyree, here, here is Tyree, you, this used to be called the land of Canaan, so you had Phoenicians there too, by the way, you had Hamites there too, there also, right, and, and as you can see, they went from here to here to here to here. You, this was able to, to be because this was along the sea shore. And this is what you call then a navy. Because a navy is something that goes through the sea. Definition. The definition of a navy. As you can see, navy. The branch of the armed services of a state which conduct military operations at sea. So, it says here, For the king, King Solomon, had at sea a navy of Tarshish with the navy of Hiram. So he had these two... Sorry. It says here, For the king had at sea a navy of Tarshish with the navy of Hiram. Once in three years came the navy of Tarshish bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes, and peacocks so it didn't it doesn't say where they went but we know to the spirit because the Lord revealed his secrets unto his servants the prophets so we know to the spirit that oh he was sending them to America because it says once in three years came the Navy of Tarshish bringing gold and silver ivory and apes and peacocks which are birds of course and then you go to sort somewhat prove that you go to second Esther chapter 13 verse 45 but I will start at verse 40 now these are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king whom Solomon Asar, the king of Assyria led away captive and he carried them over the waters and so came they into another land but they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen. Uh, I, 
had a beautiful picture actually just then. Right, they would leave the multitude of the heathen because they was here. But they was in, in Assyria, sorry. Which is, uh, wait, wait, where was Assyria again? Ancient map. Uh, which was here? Here. Ancient Assyria here. And these, uh, nowadays, they're kind of Arab-looking like type people. But anyway, that's uh, another thing. But yeah, so, where was I? Here? Nope. Where the hell was I? Oh, yeah, sorry. Right. So they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelled. And that is... <clears throat> That is this, where never man, where never mankind dwelt, kind dwelled. That's here, this, this hill, this whole continent, these two continents, South America and North America. So they went there, from around. Where am I? Where the hell am I? Here? Oh yeah, here. <laughs> Not I. I mean, uh, where, where, where am I supposed to be? here I think they went like this I'm not sure they could have gone like this and then this I'm not sure I, I think it was here and then they went there if I'm correct or they went like this I'm not sure about that one anyway they went to there right so it says verse 42 that they might keep their statutes which they never kept in their own land, which is this this own oh, sorry, in this own land here, right? In their own land, right? Verse forty three. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow places of the river. Now, where is the Euphrates? ancient map of the Euphrates which is here and then they went or up or down I have no idea which went wait here the river Euphrates right okay I, I can't get a good map okay this is the river yeah, yeah yeah this is okay then they went here they went down then they went down because the Euphrates would then take them like here and then it would be like here along the coast where it's, uh, how you call that thing, peaceful. You can say peaceful. Because if you go out in the ocean, <laughs> it's not that peaceful over there. <laughs> but the Lord kept the, 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 the ocean still, by the way. I'm going to read that too. And they entered into the Euphrates by, an, by the narrow places of the river. For the Most High had showed signs for them. And held the flood till they were passed over. Right, he held the flood. That means like an uh, because the Lord Shai, he calmed the storm, and then they said, "What manner of man is this?" Mm. Yeah, here. So it says here, uh, <laughs> Mark four and thirty-eight. And he was in the hinder most hinder part of the sea ship, asleep on a pillow. <laughs> he was taking a nap. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I was, I was taking a nap. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the sea ceased. I mean, the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. <laughs> and he said unto them. Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? <laughs> and they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Well, he could do it. His, then his father could do it even more. Right. So he calmed down the winds for them, the, the sea and stuff like that. 
for the for the ten tribes, right? For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And the same region is called Adasharath. Right. So it took a year and a half to go there. But here it says that once in three years the navy of Tarshish bring in gold and silver, ivory, and apes, and peacocks. So the navy of King Solomon, right? Oh yeah, let me read this on. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and for wisdom. And all the earth sought the king of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which Yahweh had put in his heart, which is his mind. So this is how we know that they went to America, the 10 tribes went to America, and um, then dwell they there until the latter time which we are in right now and now when they shall begin to come the highest shall stay the springs of the stream again that they may go through therefore sawest thou the multitude with peace so going back to over here no 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 sorry 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 this word Asherah, right? So now, if you Google that word, you will come to a place like this, right? Mm -hmm. Asherah. Yeah, it's, it's spelled with a Z here or a Z. Is that they call it in English? They, they name it in English, right? The Z, Z, this thing, this thing, the Z. And here is mentioned with an S, with an S. It's the same thing. So it says here. I'm gonna put the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. This is Jewish Encyclopedia, which are these Edomites, their website, as a lot of websites are. But we <clears throat> we fish through their snake tongue. So it says here, the name of the land, Asherah, double points here, that's thing, I don't know how you call it. The name of the land beyond the great river, and that great river is this, which is the ocean, which is the sea. far away from the habitation of man and we know that all these regions were already uh, populated all these regions were already populated this wasn't this was not populated right so it says far away from the habitation of man in which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell Observing the loss of Moses until the time of restoration and we are in that time right now because the the Israelites are being restored through this truth And the truth shall heal us the restoration right for example I think it's at Psalms 127 or something Or Psalms 107 mm. Yeah, Psalms 107 and 20. He sent his word and healed them, restored them, and delivered them from their destructions. That's what the word is doing. Now the word is being the word is being spread, and therefore, <clears throat> therefore the people are being gathered. Uh, Psalms chapter 50 and 21. These things thou hast done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. These Edomites really think that the Lord is with down with them. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. We are being set in order before the eyes of these heathen nations and the rest of the world. Oh yeah, Hosea chapter 6, verse 1. Come and let us return to the Lord, for he had torn and he will heal us. He had smitten and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us, restore us. And that two days is two thousand years. In the third day he will raise us up, which is what he's doing right now. In the third thousand uh, year he was raising us up. And we shall live in his sight. We are in the beginning of that third day. To a certain degree. We're still kind of in the two days. Because two thousand years ago, that's when he was here. So now he's waking us up. That's why we know that we're Israelites. 
And then this day, he's going to he's going to wake us up, right? So it says, right, until the time of the restoration. Restoration? The act of restoring or the condition of being restored. That's what we're doing right now. We are being restored because it says in the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse... No, 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 Malachi 4, verse 5 or something. Behold, verse 5. I will send you Elijah the prophet before but the prophet before the coming and great and dread before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, mm -hmm. and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So our minds are being turned back into the ways of our forefathers, so that we are like them, as we need to be. Right, so it says here, according to 4th Ezra, which is 2nd Ezra, 13 and 45. Uh, I had to look this up. I was just reading it, by the way, so yeah. This is the book of 2nd Ezra 13 and 45. Right? Columbus identified America with this land. So that bastard, he knew exactly, because he had written a book, and then they re refer you to the book. It says, see Kaiserlings, Kaiserlings, Christopher Columbus. Kaiserlings, Christopher Columbus. Mm, the Dr. M. Kaiserling or something, an author. And the, uh, it says here, Christopher Columbus and the participation of the Jews in the Spanish and Portuguese discoveries. And this uh, this guy wrote a book, and in that book, he he wrote, because it says here translated by Doctor C. Uh, uh, so it says Gross, page fifteen. I don't have that book, but then uh, yeah, this is basically just a quick summary. Is this it? Image of pages. Oh, I did not ever see that. <laughs> I never paid. You know how long I have this uh, page, man? Years. I even made videos about this in uh, years ago. I never saw this. Maybe they added it. I have no idea. So, yeah, it says uh, here page. Is this page 15? No, this is page 160. I see here. Here, up here. Up here. Right, so it says here, Asherah. The name of the land beyond the great river. Oh, yeah, I already read that. Huh. Oh no, this is another book, which is referring to the book, which is referring to that book. Oh, oh, I thought this was the book. Oh no, this is the Jewish Encyclopedia written version in a book. This is just the online version. Oh, thought so. Oh yeah, page V2, page 160. Okay, so I got it. Right, but you have it here too. Which is uh, Study Light Org. It's the same thing. The Jewish, uh, it says here, the 1901 Jewish Encyclopedia, which is Amalek actually. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, written here the same thing too. It's the same thing. You know, so I'm gonna put both in the description box because I hate, I hate, I hate the Roman numerals. I just hate it. I always hated it. It's stupid. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna know what it says. I hate it. You can say, don't be ignorant of small things. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't, don't want to read Roman, man. I hate it. Roman numerals, it just irritates me. Only in games uh, I know what it is. Or Rambo, Rambo 3. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I know what it is. Rambo 2, whatever. Yeah, now I know. Or Final Fantasy or whatever. I hate it too. Believe me, I hate it because I don't know what it says here. I don't know and I don't I don't want to know because I hate it. But I know about it. I just find it stupid. I'm not a Roman. Why should I learn that? Because we are in their society. I refuse. What you going to do now? <laughs> Devil? Who you going to get angry? You're supposed to know my history. Nigger. Fucking nigger. Okay, no, 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 no. Devil. No, no, no. I'm not going to learn that. I do that on purpose. I have my dignity. 
No, I'm just playing. But yeah, I'm not gonna learn that. But yeah, but uh, yeah, basically this is it, man. And uh, you had the Solomon. He had a navy, and he sent his navy to Ashurath. And Ashurath is known as America, or America is known as well. No, no, no. Ashurath is known as America because they don't know it as Ashurath. Ashurath. So yeah, there you have it. I couldn't finish this video much much faster, but yeah. Sorry about that. I'm gonna put the links in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. And with that, I'm gonna say shalom.